Yum, yum! Building on the release of Moto 14 from earlier this year, which was packed with some great workflow improvements, version 14.1 continues to enhance Moto's powerful toolset. I'd like to quickly share some of the new additions to the modeling tool set that are already improving the speed at which I create assets in Moto. The Polygon Bevel tool continues to receive enhancements for both direct and procedural versions of the tool. One key addition is the auto weld attribute, which corrects the long-standing overlapping geometry issue that occurs when beveling complex corners. Toggling the auto weld option on will automatically weld the vertices that would otherwise cause the edges to overlap. The additional weld range attribute enables you to control the range the welding takes place. Also new to the polygon bevel tool are the fall off controls, which enable you to decouple the shift and inset values when using a vertex weight map. To demonstrate these new options, I'll add a polygon bevel mesh op to this mesh item. Then I'll add a weight map fall off to the tool pipe. I'll increase the shift and inset attributes and deactivate the group polygons option. We can see that by default, both the shift and inset attributes are being affected by the weight map falloff. With the new options, I can deactivate either shift or inset for finer control of how the weight map is applied to the tool. As someone who uses weight maps in most of my modeling work, these options are sure to get a lot of use. Edge Chamfer also received a new option for extending boundary edges. With the extend boundary attribute active, you can extend the selected boundary edges outward, similar to edge extend with the local attribute active, but in many cases, Cases, it produces better results. As with the new polygon bevel enhancements, this option is available for both the procedural and direct modeling versions of Edge Chamfer. Another enhancement that has proven to be a big time saver is the one added to the polygon make command. Simply select two continuous edges that share a common endpoint vertex and then run the command. It'll automatically create a fourth vertex producing a quad polygon. With additional enhancements to UV creation and manipulation and more, 14.1 offers a variety of improvements to modeling, making Moto that much more powerful as well as flexible when creating assets. Yum, yum!